Hey guys, my name is Andre. And I'm Ehouse. And welcome to Speed Sim. Today, we're going to be taking a quick look at our first impressions of the new Crytek Alpha line. All right, so to kick things off, you do have an uninterrupted top rail with direct mounts on the left, I'm right, and on the bottom side. And you do get a full metal upper and lower receiver with the Crytek logo right here on the left-hand side. And it does have, or does feature both um, ambidextrous left and right, or, it does feature left and right ambidextrous fire selector switch. The stock does remain the same as per usual as normal Crytek, so these are now replacing the original Crytek uh, CRBs, and we'll get into that a little bit later. And you do get a standard... Uh, A2 style pistol grip. Okay, so you do get a standard A2 style pistol grip. Everything else internally is the same. All right, so why don't you go ahead and talk to the folks over on YouTube, what uh, do you think about this? Okay, um, now, first thing I'm gonna do is demonstrate some of the differences between the normal CRB and this. So the original CRB obviously had a true key mod rail. Uh, this one will take key mod rail sections, but in a little bit of a different way. If you buy Crytac key mod rail sections, the screws that normally would hold the nuts that would go into the key mod segments, you take those nuts off and you use those screws to direct attach the rails to the rail system. Uh, this was done to cut production costs just a little bit because key mod is kind of expensive to do correctly and that's obviously how you bring down the price point. Uh, this is still you know, quality aluminum so it will still be plenty strong for any of your BB Wars use. Just uh, be aware that you're not gonna be mounting things. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are not M-Lock compatible uh, but you will still be able to mount accessories on here without too much trouble at all. Uh, the Mark II series has the new billet style receivers. Yep. This does not, this retains the original Crytac receiver and it retains the original A2 style pistol grip as opposed to the Defiance grip. Yep. Again, this is because these are cheaper. Uh, and there is one difference with the stock which is very minute and kind of petty uh, and it doesn't really matter. The butt plate on the stock is ever so slightly different because this is the same butt plate they're using on the 22 LR uh, Defiance rifles, which makes this a little bit simpler to manufacture and source in higher quantities. So that helps bring the cost down just a little bit. Uh, internally speaking, it is mostly the same, but the only difference is the motor is actually a non-ferrite magnet or a non-neodymium ferrite magnet motor, and it's a little bit of a cheaper motor to begin with. And the uh, spring is a one joule spring. So the little bit of a cheaper motor and the one joule spring mean that this gun is, it has still really good trigger response mm -hmm. because they can get away with the cheaper motor because of the lighter spring, but it does only shoot about 280 to 290 with 0.2 gram BBs and about 240 to 250 with 0.25s. So nice. it is going to be a little bit uh, slower in terms of velocity than the normal Crytax are used to, but there's some other things you are used to that will definitely remain the same, and that's the range of accuracy. Yeah, uh, on, on parallel range, even with the lighter spring. Yeah, the range and accuracy on this, we were easily hitting right. the 150 foot target out at your measured range, and there's a uh, some more metal plates out at about 220 feet, mm -hmm. and it was falling short, I mean, just short. We're estimating that effective range of this could easily be almost pushing maybe 200. Yeah. Uh, we'll obviously roll some video of that in with this. Uh, so the performance is still there, and the Defiance gearbox is still the same gearbox, and the hop-up is still the same, and the barrel is still the same. Mm -hmm. So having run a normal CRB for a long time myself, I look at this and I'm like, it's a CRB that shoots a little slower, has a cheaper motor, but other than that, retains all the performance I'm used to. And I've run this Nautilus gearbox hard in two guns uh, for two years in one and for a few months in the other. And I can tell you something, they do perform. Yeah. I really like the box, it's fantastic. Uh, you just can't, you can't beat Crytek's yeah. performance. And with a 7.4, uh, at least not out of the box, well, yeah, and with no. a 7.4 LiPo, the trigger response is really good. Yep. The rate of fire is very good. Uh, feeding uh, seemed very good with yep. Elite Force BBs. Um, yep. One thing I want to mention that I just actually thought about is you see here how the barrel extends a little past the rail system. Unlike the old CRB, you can put whatever muzzle device you want on here without needing to extend the barrel. 
One of the big reasons the Alpha Series exists is the price. Uh, they wanted to bring the price down a little bit, be a little more competitive in that mid-tier, so this is gonna cost about $275. Um, do you get what you pay for for that $275? I absolutely think so. I paid about that for uh, a couple other guns that I do not think performed uh, this valiantly and had internals as strong as this. Uh, so I gotta say, this is a very competitive option, at least thus far. I mean, obviously, if we discover some crippling flaw like the cheaper motor burns out after yeah. a couple thousand rounds, we will update. Yeah. And there's obviously gonna be a more in depth review about the Alpha series. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but right on the box, I mean, you can be able to go any indoor field across the globe. And even outdoor. I know people don't want to go outdoor with a gun that shoots less than 300, but the range and accuracy is there. We've got the video to show it. That's with two five grand BBs. Yep. I'm kind of tempted to put two eights in this thing, and yeah, it'd be slow, but... We still got the range and accuracy. Yeah. So now with the Mark II, um, like we mentioned, it does have a billet style receiver, so it's going to look a little bit more aggressive, a lot cooler. It does have a, or does feature a flat straight trigger, and you need to get the defined grip. And along with that, you do get a uh, key, mod rail, uh, key mod rail system, so you can directly attach your key mod accessories right to the gun, unlike this one, where it's direct attached. All right, so then internally, the motor is gonna be a lot better, and the spring is gonna be obviously a lot hotter, right around the original CRB. 360 to 370, right. so around, I understand. Right around the original uh, CRB uh, FPS that you're used to. So those are the only really real difference between these two. I should about cover it. Yeah, I mean, having shot it and you know, knowing what Crytac does with mine, I'm actually really excited that this is hopefully going to bring what I love about Crytac to some guys who maybe don't want to spend the $350 in the Mark II CRB and want something a little more affordable. Uh, personally, I think it's really well done. I think it's cool. And as a CQB rifle, thumbs up Crytac. Uh, like I said, if we discover any crippling flaws over the long term, we will let you know because that's how we do. Right. And with the uh, the alpha line does come with the CRB and the SPD. Yep. So the SPD is that SDP. Little sh SDP is a little short one with the suppressor and no, it's just a regular round stock looking thing. It's not. It doesn't have a full stock. It's Basically, just a receiver yeah, extension. Pretty much. So those are the only two alpha lines that they have out currently. Awesome. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Speed Sim. My name is Andre. I'm E House. And thanks for watching, guys. And we'll talk to you real soon. Peace.